Aloha. Hey, thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate your comments and your views and what you've been saying. It's been a lot of good energy and I appreciate it. And so many people have asked me about, this is what I'm going to talk about today, change your life. And uh, so many people have asked about it. Um, how can you afford to live in Hawaii? Um, <laughs> what are rents like, utilities, everything? Um, I hope you can hear me because there's a volleyball tournament going on. Very interesting. People have come from other islands. So um, I wanted to talk about changing your life, failure, trying new things. I know failure is a heavy word, but hey, I've failed many times. I've failed this week even. <laughs> so the thing is, it's not really about the money. It's about knowing that you can try something that you don't know about and see how it goes. That's how I've been living for the past 10 years, more than I ever have in my life before. Um, well, you know, that's not totally true. I had a child and started several businesses and moved to California, got married, you know, many things where you don't know the unknown, where you just don't know what's going to happen. We just don't know. Um, and I think where people get bogged down about changing your life is thinking about it too much. I know I do too. I'm still working on it too, folks. People, um, changing your life, don't overthink it. And, um, know that even if you don't know the answer today it's on its way so instead of worrying and playing all these negative scenarios in your brain and listen um i still do that a percentage of the time too and it never goes well <laughs> and then lately i've been listening to a lot of louise hay and i've been reading her books and listening to her for 20 years <laughs> But then you'll listen to something that just hits you in a different way than you've ever heard before. And here's the nugget. It takes practice to switch your mind from this negative spiral to a positive outcome. Maybe you don't know what that outcome is. But if you switch it from negative to positive, you're going to do a lot better. Because whatever energy you're emanating and radiating is going to come back to you and it's taken decades for me to really get that and I still have to practice every day I'm not saying I'm there yet um, but most of the time I'm positive and I've noticed that uh, when I'm not things don't go so well and another thing I wanted to talk about is when things don't go so well sometimes even when you're holding yourself in a positive place and things don't happen the way you think they should, that means, and I see it in my own life, that you're supposed to be doing something else. And you might not even know what that something else is yet. So that's where the, the faith and the strength comes in where you get to practice. Oh, okay, I don't know what's coming next, but these other things didn't work. And if you really check yourself, and it, and it really wasn't because of negativity, or, or it was, um, something else is supposed to happen. So that's what I'm seeing in my own life uh, just in the past week. Uh, some things that didn't work out the way I thought. All of a sudden yesterday I got this feeling of, oh, okay, that's how it's supposed to be. That something big and beautiful is around the corner, and I don't even know what it is yet. So that's exciting. And so I just want to leave you with this. Don't despair. Don't start thinking that nothing will work. Just remember that to change your life, it's not about, it's really about you. And it's not, it's not about anyone else but you. And once you, there's this famous quote, which I can't think of the person that said it, but, oh, when you shift and turn, yourself then the universe turns to walk towards you so remember that that keep that positive outlook no matter what's happening around you
no matter what anybody says. And that makes you stronger. Courage takes practice. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching here on Kauai. And I'll see you very soon. Have a beautiful rest of your week. We're starting the week out. Enjoy. Be grateful for what you have. And uh, I'm grateful for what I have. And good reminder. So, mahalo, which means thank you in Hawaiian. Many blessings to you.